Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your Who's Coming Towards You love reading. Um, there's not going to be an extended for this one, but I am going to use um, the tarot to see who's coming up romantically. Now, this could be a new person or someone from your past. Um, and the tarot deck may just reveal who this person is um, and anything else we can learn about them. So if you are looking for love um, or you're wanting to know who this person is and maybe a little bit more about them, um, then this reading can be for you. So... Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video. Um, of course, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, otherwise, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly. Otherwise, let's jump into this and see, Water Signs, who is coming towards you for love, romance, and relationships. swords and the two of pentacles okay so straight away what is crowning the reading is the king of swords so there may be an air sign coming up around you a gemini libra or aquarius this is an air personality that's coming up around you or that's coming towards you this person is a great speaker okay they're very articulate and there's a chance that you are already in communication with this person or you will be in communication very quickly now, the star card has come up here, which does uh, represent the sign of Aquarius. So for some of you, you have an Aquarian possibly coming in around you. Uh, and also with the temperance card, this could be a Sagittarius. So this is fire energy. But these signs have come up, okay? Uh, or it's someone who can have traits of Sagittarius and Aquarius. Um, but the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles is crowning the reading. So you notice this wall here. The wall can represent someone who's quite guarded so you might have someone who's quite guarded over their emotions okay and they're quite practical in a sense they're a bit of a juggler okay so straight away this is someone who is coming forward and they've either been in your life before and they're coming back for a second chance or second time round, or they're very indecisive at times the two of pentacles is like juggler they're very back and forth they may be a natural multitasking person maybe um, uh, they're very back and forth. You've had a back and forth connection with this person. The world and the star card have come in. So this could be someone who has star quality to them. Now they may have their own, um, website, their own blog. Um, they may have some sort of freelance work that they do. They could be uh, celebrated or they could be like a minor or a major celebrity. So there may be an element of fame next to this person. Uh, they could also be seeking fame. Um, as well. Now, in terms of money, I feel like this person is quite wealthy. They've got the two, the page of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. Um, it could indicate that they come from a wealthy family or they come from money or they're very money driven. Something about money keeps coming up. It could also be that this person has a lot of uh, earth qualities to them. So they're quite practical when it comes to money. They don't overspend. They don't overindulge. They like to invest things that are going to make them more money. So they're quite um, level headed when it comes to finances. They could also work with other people's money here as well. Um, but I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles coming up, this person is looking for a committed relationship. They do want to settle down um, and they are looking for stability in their life. And I feel like with the Ten of Cups coming up around the both of you, the Ten of Chalices, this could indicate that the two of you are going to fall in love. Like, look how beautifully they're staring at each other. Like, this is, it's very romantic. So this person could be very romantic towards you. Um, you could have a very romantic relationship, but it's almost like nothing else is going to exist apart from the two of you. And you'll be in your own beautiful little bubble here. So straight away, I get someone that's quite affectionate. Okay, but they can also be quite emotionally sensitive at times with the Knight of Chalices. They could be prone to mood swings. Now, this includes highs and it's going to include lows. So this person could be quite sensitive to criticism or quite sensitive um, in, in, intuitively. Now, water signs, you're, you're very intuitive naturally. So you're going to sense when this person is feeling high. You're going to sense when they're feeling low. I get 
I, you know, my understanding would be is that you'll be able to read them quite well. Um, you know, you're very, you're very psychic and you're very empathetic. You're very in tune with your emotions, water signs. So I feel like that is going to be your ability to sort of read this person and get to know their moods um, is going to be something that's going to be a strong point here for you. The world card, it can be someone who's foreign, a different country, different nationality. They may have an accent. They may be bilingual, multilingual. You can also meet online. Uh, so if you're on any sort of dating apps or you're on any sort of apps or websites that connect you with other people, um, it's very likely that you are already connected to this person or will be um, connected very, very soon. The three of ones, they are a bit of a traveler. So they may have lived in different cities or countries in their lifetime. They may also have to travel a lot for work. And at one point or another, you could enter into some sort of, excuse me, long distance connection with this person because the world card, if they are a traveler, like a flight attendant, for example, or a pilot, or they go imports, exports, or they're a fisherman, you know, if they're in some sort of industry that takes them far and wide, uh, it could indicate that there is distance here. Now, they may even live further away from you as well. That is also possible here. Um, now, they have a very outgoing personality. The temperance, if they've got Sagittarius and Aquarian energy next to them, especially if they're coming up as an air person, they're very animated. They like to talk. They like to connect with other people. Um, they're very good with their words. And Sagittarian and Aquarian energy around this person can indicate that they are fun-loving. They're spontaneous. Um, sometimes they don't have a filter. They say whatever just comes to mind. Um, they're very direct. They could be blunt at times. They crave spontaneity and adventure, and they like to be kept on their toes. This is, and, and you know, they may even do this for you, water signs, and, and sort of keep you on your toes where you never really know what to expect with this person because they just give you this excitement and you're really going to love it. You're really going to appreciate it. Um, but you'll have a lot in common. Conversation will flow or this person will be um, very mentally engaging, meaning they're going to keep you hooked mentally, emotionally, physically. They have this about them. Attraction level is high because we have Sagittarian Aquarian energy. Um, so the star card, it's like they have some sort of star quality about them. They could be very attractive. Everyone notices them every, every, anywhere they go. Um, if they step into the room, you know, people look, people turn their heads. They have this energy about them that attracts other people of the same sex or opposite sex. They have this ability. Um, they have this ability to do that, whether it's their energy, whether it's their looks. They have something about them. Um, or maybe it's the way they talk. They have this, this about them. Um, and it can come up in the cards. The High Priestess, they could be quite spiritual. They could be involved in like, um, with the High Priestess, like religion or spirituality or philosophy or like um, a, uh, they could follow like a life guru or something like that. They could have that uh, those very deeply uh, rooted spiritual beliefs about them um, with that High Priestess energy. They could also want children or have children here with the High Priestess because it oftentimes represents things like fertility. So um, maybe it's just the fact that family means a lot to them. Um, they're very near and dear with their family. They have good relationships with their family members. So in essence, you have someone quite sweet, quite traditional that's coming forward here for a relationship with you. And you'll have the ability to sort of um, see where this, or see where it takes you. But let's not forget the Ten of Cups. Um, this, this card is really beautiful because the star is destiny, okay? So this is someone who's destined to come into your path. They're destined to give you a relationship. And the Ten of Chalices is often read as the happily ever after card. So it's very likely that this person could be in your, in your future for a very, very, very long time. Um, it's likely that you could settle down with them. Uh, it's likely that you could plan children uh, or become a family, become a blended family or a merged family. Um, but this is really beautiful because it, it has it has strong potential here between the both of you. So uh, really lovely reading, Water Signs. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to drop a like. Uh, and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching these videos. It does mean a lot. So I hope everyone is keeping well. Uh, and we shall be in touch very, very soon, I hope. So thank you again, everyone. And bye for now.